So if you are out there and you're joining me, give me a shout. If you're catching this on a replay, please let me know. Um, tonight is our forgiveness workshop, so we're going to go over a lot of different things. I'm going to give everybody just a minute to jump on. Um, we're going to talk about forgiveness. We're going to talk about um, how it works, how to do it. We're going to talk about um, acceptance, gratitude, and we're also going to talk about the forgiveness list and some fun little real, real ritualistic ways to go ahead and take your list. So if you're out there and you're joining me, give me a shout. Um, you may want a pen and paper if you want to do this at the same time. But like I said, tonight is going to be all about forgiveness. So I'm just giving everybody a minute to jump on. If you're out there and you're joining me, give me a shout. If you're catching this on a replay, drop me a hashtag replay. Um, like I said, we're going to cover the topic of forgiveness, what it does for our brain and our energetic uh, alignment and our energetic makeup. We're going to talk about acceptance. Hey, Mel. We're going to talk about um, acceptance. We're going to talk about gratitude, how to use uh, forgiveness kind of to our advantage. And then, like I said, we're also going to talk about our forgiveness list and some fun ways to, to get that off our chest. So if you have a pen and paper, you might want that. Um, as we're going, if you have questions, definitely go ahead and drop them in the comments. Um, if anything's coming up for you as well, if you watch this on a replay or you watch it again later and something comes up or changes, please let me know. I'm happy to answer them. So if you're out there and you're joining me, give me a shout. If you're catching this, like I said, on a replay, definitely leave me a hashtag replay. Let me know. But yes, tonight is all about forgiveness. So honestly, my first question usually is what does forgiveness mean to you? I mean, for me, forgiveness is a lot of, of releasing because we tend to hold on to our grudges and emotions and these experiences that happen to us and they burn so far into our subconscious that it's really difficult to let them go. Um, and when that happens, we continue to relive those same experiences and grudges and it all comes back to the fact that it's stored so deep in there because a lot of times we get triggered. Um, we see the person who might have created yes. that experience. We see the person that we've been holding on to that grudge. We walk into a room and it's the same place something happened that we've been holding on to. And sometimes it's even just ourselves. Um, sometimes we do things or think things or say things and then we wonder why. I mean, it comes down to having the anxiety and you know sometimes it's just the self-esteem and the consciousness and just really putting ourselves into that mindset but again we relive it over and over and over again because we don't have a way to let it go and letting it go is sometimes easier said than done and I know that trust me um, but it's important that we do at least try to rewire to reprogram our subconscious and like I said forgiveness is one of those things Usually you start, um, you know, going through your emotions and it's working through to release what's no longer serving you or moving toxic people from your life. But we always kind of, forgiveness is usually like one of the beginning stages, but one of the last things that we want to do because it really means getting honest and real. It really means feeling your feels. So this way you can feel the heal. Okay. It's transformation and that's when it happens. And like I said, forgiveness doesn't have to be that grudge you've been holding on to with the kid from fifth grade that threw gum in your hair. It, it, it can be that simple, maybe it's just, you know, the guy that cut you off that ruined your day and, you know, messed you all up and it sticks with you because now every time somebody does it, it sticks with you. It might be something simple as to, you've been dying to get up early and do this one thing, you booked a class, you set it up, and then guess what? You decided you didn't want to do it and now you're kicking yourself because you didn't take care of you. These are all things that, again, they ride on our subconscious. And that's what it comes down to because these keep firing. We keep getting triggered. We see the same people walk into the same places, have the same experiences, and it comes back time and time and time again. But now it comes down to how do we remove that? How do we get rid of it? And the first thing I can tell you to do is real hardcore is write yourself out a forgiveness list. I did one. I've literally got three pages here and I probably could have kept going. And I've done this before several times and there's always more stuff to add stuff that is now come back that I thought I released. You can never do this honestly too many times, but it's a great way to start if you're working on a transformation and create space within the body. Okay, so I really recommend old fashioned paper and pen. 
write your list out and nothing is too big, nothing is too small. Like I said, it's not just tangible people and grudges. It's not just, you know, experiences. It's also stuff in here. Maybe you need to forgive yourself by, you know, not having enough faith in yourself or not feeling that you're worthy enough or second guessing yourself or, you know, you want to forgive yourself for believing that everybody's out there judging you when in fact nobody's probably looking. Um, it can come down to a number of things. Like I said, they might be tangible, they might be emotional, it just might be mental. But either way, get it out. Like, get real, get honest, write it down. I'm telling you that is a game changer. Now, once you've created this list, and if you want to type it in your phone, your computer, whatever, like I said, I like the old-fashioned pen and paper, the next step on the road to forgiveness is acceptance. And this is the scary thing, because these are the things that we sit there and we don't always want to look at ourselves as the bad person. Um, I really feel like in you know today's society and the way we are, we tend to want to blame other people for everything that goes wrong. We want to find excuses as to why something happened. And then again, we sit on those experiences, those interactions with people, those emotions that we felt, and we bury them. And we push them down and we push them down and we push them down till eventually we're like a shame champagne bottle ready to pop and it will happen and then at that point it's oh did I do something to deserve this I'm such a bad person oh my god and you go into all of this kind of headspace when in fact most of this could have been avoided by seeing like I said the experience for what it was seeing the interaction for what it was seeing the thought for what it was and just label it as that it's just a thought it's just a person. It's just a thing. You don't have to hold on to it. But we're human. And we do, which is why I have three pages of a forgiveness list here. Okay? So we are human. That is okay. Now, I mean, like I said, the road to self-acceptance is, yeah, let it get real. Like, take a look at it. I mean, you can read your forgiveness list out loud. You know, you tell yourself, I forgive myself for, you know, X, Y, Z. You know, I forgive, you know whomever, if it's something you feel you need to do it that way, go ahead and get it out there. Okay. And as you're going through, this is something, um, if you meditate or, you know, you have some kind of a mindful practice, maybe it's going for a walk, maybe it's going for a run. Use that, use your journal, use that space to really accept the fact that you are you. Okay. You are you for a reason. And it's important to love yourself. You know, and that's the biggest thing you can say is, I forgive myself. I love myself. I, you know, didn't do anything to have this happen. It's life. You know, you have to start with you. It's super important. Um, again, we tend to want to make excuses for people, things, experiences. We like to blame others. Again, we're human. It happens. That's okay but you have to start taking ownership of it if you want to transform, okay? So if you want to feel, hey Anwar, hello, hello. Um, so yes, so as you're going through the forgiveness stages, like I said, you make your list, you come out with everything that's there. The next step on the road is your self-acceptance. It's really understanding that, you, like I said, you're human, okay? It's not your fault. Okay, that's the first big one. Blame has got to go. I mean, nothing that happens to you is your fault. Experiences happen. Life lessons happen. We are here to learn, and that is the joyful experience that life brings us. Okay? So the first thing I want you to do, like I said, is just tell yourself that you forgive yourself. Thank yourself for being human. Okay? Thank yourself. And that is going to be step three of the forgiveness process is gratitude. Because like it or not, the more grateful you are for your experiences, the people that cross your path, the places you go, the emotions you experience, the feelings that you have, the better life is. Okay. So gratitude is the next big part. You know, thank the universe for those forgivenesses thank the universe for those feelings that you had and they might have been bad and ugly at the time because I'm telling you like I said three pages of a forgiveness list later and I can keep going yes they're not all sunshine and rainbows that's the point of a forgiveness list these are things that you found to be negative these are things that you found to be 
polarizing. These are things that really came at you. They triggered you. They burned into your subconscious enough that you're holding that grudge, that you're reliving those feelings, those experiences. And now that you've accepted them as part of who you are, as part of your brain, as part of your programming, now it's a chance to feel grateful for them. And I know you're probably thinking, like, why would I feel grateful for this? Why would I feel grateful for that person that did this to me? Or for feeling this way or having this experience? Because again, that's what makes you you. That's what makes you human. And that's the first step to releasing is to get deep in there. So thank the universe for all of those things on your forgiveness list. They've gotten you to where you are today. They have made you the person that you are today. Okay, so like I said, the bad and ugly at the time is gonna be your most beautiful asset that you have now because it's what makes you stronger. It's what makes you more alive and vibrant. It's what gives you that energy, that motivation to transform, to be a better person, to take those next steps on your ride to your future. This is what helps you take action, is we have to have some kind of motivation pushing us. And oftentimes it's the forgiveness list. It's the things that maybe you regret now. It's the things that you don't like inside. Use that to your advantage. Thank the universe for all of those experiences, all of those feelings. Just say thank you, okay? And then once you've done that, kind of made peace with it all, that's when you're gonna take this list and we are gonna destroy it, okay? So, I mean, you've got a couple of options there. Like I said, there's a lot of interesting rituals for releasing. I am gonna give you a meditation tonight, so stay with me, okay? It's called the Bonfire of Vanities. Exciting, right? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your list. So we've gone through the forgiveness, we've gone through acceptance, we have gone through gratitude, and you're gonna destroy it in a manner of your choice. Now, if it's something you wanna relive and look back at later, go ahead and fold it up, go ahead and put it in an envelope, stick that sucker under your mattress and don't ever stare at it again, okay? Put it in a dark shoebox in the closet, or you can have some fun and say, you know what, universe, I release it all. I thank you for it all. It's made me who I am, but I no longer have the space for it. I no longer want to hold on to it. My pile's getting thick. I'm not sure I can tear this again. I might have to move into smaller piles. I no longer want to feel this way. I'm transforming. I'm moving into my next level self. I will always be grateful for these emotions because they motivate me. They give me desire. They give me energy. They give me a way to love myself. They've helped me create boundaries. They've helped me create self-trust. They help me to respect myself. They help me to respect others. They help me to trust my intuition. One tiny little pile here. Um, they help me to live in a way that I can forever be grateful and be a better person. And then you've got a couple of choices. You can trash that sucker. In a safe environment, you can burn it. You know, maybe go outside and do it. Or if you have like a metal plate or a bucket, something that's not going to catch fire. Um, I recommend one of those long lighters. Douse it in water. Turn it to mush. But picture that as it's happening and it's just releasing this energy. It's gone. It's out of here. It's done. You have let it be. Or... Like I said, kind of option number four. Tonight, I'm going to give you a meditation. It's called the Bonfire of the Vanities. It's a very simple meditation. It is something you can do if you feel like you need to go through this more than once. You can do it maybe for a minute a day. Maybe you work your way up to three to 11 minutes. Um, it's something that's really good for like on a full moon when you're creating new intentions, releasing what's no longer serving you. This meditation can be done any time that you need it, any time you want to get rid of the things that are no longer with you, okay? So what we're going to do, bring this down just a little bit without cutting my head off, I think. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to take your, let me start here. When you get into a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you, you might be sitting in a chair like I am. If that's the case, feet flat on the floor, if you can. Uh, if you're sitting on some kind of high top bar stool, at least put your heels on the rung. Okay, you want to be stable and kind of grounded. Um, if you have a yoga space, you can sit on your mat, on your blanket, on a cushion, and get into that comfortable seated position. 
what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna make a fist. So we're gonna bring our fingers into our palms. And we're gonna take that right thumb and put it right into our belly button, just above your belly button. It's gonna be right on that solar plexus, almost where you're kind of perpendicular. And then you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna cover that right hand, okay? Now what's gonna happen is I'll guide you through in just a moment. As we inhale, I want you to picture all of those energies, all of those things that are no longer serving you, everything on that forgiveness list. And I want you to big inhale, bring all of that up to the surface as much as you can. And then as you exhale, I want you to picture your navel center. This is your sun, this is your fire, this is your power here. Getting hot and bright like a bonfire. And we're gonna toss all of those emotions as they come down the exhale, right in that fire and let it burn. Okay, we're gonna do this a few times together. So like I said, inhale, let everything up and in, and then go ahead and exhale all that shit right into that fire that you're producing, okay? Like a phoenix ready to rise. So again, hand, thumb, right to your solar plexus, left hand right in front, sitting up nice and tall. Like I said, the secret to sitting up nice and tall, bring those shoulders up to your ears, bring them back down your spine, opens you up every time, okay? I want you to close your eyes. You can focus on that space right between the brows, that third eye. And we're gonna inhale and exhale through our nose. So go ahead and take a big inhale, big belly breath. Fill up all this space, bring up all those emotions and experiences and triggers, bring them all up. And then go ahead and big exhale through your nose, push them into the fire, let it burn. Let's do it again. Go ahead, big inhale. Big exhale. Let it burn. Go ahead and inhale all the way in through your nose. Bring up all of those feelings and triggers and traumas and dramas. Big exhale. Continue in this way a couple more times. Inhale. Big inhale, again, bring up all of that energy, all of those traumas and dramas and all of those things you're forgiving yourself for, those emotions. And then big exhale, go ahead and release them into the fire. Let them go, let them burn. They're no longer serving you, you don't need them. Go ahead and inhale. Exhale it all out. Make room for all the good, everything you're gonna receive. Just a little bit more. Good, one more, the powerhouse. Here we go, bring it all up. Burn it all. Go ahead and release your hands, bring them back to the tops of the knees. And just take a couple of nice, just deep, natural inhales and exhales. Notice how you feel. Notice what came up. Forgive it, accept it, be grateful for it, and let it go. Good, and slowly open your eyes. Amazing, how do we feel? Does anyone have any questions? questions on anything that I've talked about. Like I said, forgiveness is pretty much a four-step process. First, it's the forgiving part. 
like I said, create your list, write it out, let it up and out. And like I said, it can be anything. It might be tangible experiences, people and grudges, things you've been holding on to, emotions, traumas, dramas, things that have been on your mind, things that have been taking a toll on your body. Like I said, things that are really no longer serving you. And then we're gonna go ahead and accept it. And that might take some time. I mean, maybe you meditate on it for a while, but really take the chance to just label it as is what it is. Let's get it off your subconscious, get it from being burned in there, and let's get it out, okay? And like I said, step three, gratitude. Honestly, thank the universe for all of it. As bad and ugly as it might have been or seemed at the time, no matter what you did, who you blame, what excuses we made, what experiences we had, what people crossed our path, what triggers happened, thank the universe for it. It made you who you are, it's made you who where you are it's made you who you are okay and then go ahead and take your list take those feelings take it all and burn it tear it to shreds soak it till it's no more and like i said that bonfire of the vanities meditation it is an amazing way to create forgiveness in the body it's a great way to pull up a lot of emotions things you might not even realize that you've had stored in there because it's allowing us to tap into our subconscious. It's allowing us to dig in there and really target those emotions, target those feelings, target those experiences and rip them off our subconscious and reprogram ourselves. It's really giving us an opportunity to transform ourselves, our thinking. Because like I said, the longer you hold on to those grudges, those traumas, those dramas, those triggers, the longer you hold on to it all, eventually you're gonna pop like a champagne bottle and it's gonna suck and you're probably not even gonna deal with it then. You're gonna just continue to try and bury it. The longer we hold on to it, our subconscious gets reprogrammed. We're constantly looking for those triggers. We're constantly looking for those people. Um, you know, you see the person, you immediately associate that grudge with them. Like I said, you walk into a room and you immediately associate a horrible experience. You look at yourself in the mirror and all you can remember is what happened to you the night before. If you don't release all of that at some point, if you don't accept it, if you don't trust that it happened for a reason, it's gonna continue to build up and it's gonna continue to eat at you and wreak havoc at you. It has to be done. And like I said, anyone who's going through any kind of transformation, anyone that's feeling any stress, anxiety, depression, anyone that's struggling right now, forgiveness is an amazing practice to put into your world. If you're looking to manifest and receive good into your life, which I think we all are on some level, forgiveness is a must do. It has to be done. Okay. People will tell you, you don't have to do anything. You shouldn't do this. Don't I'm telling you, by creating yourself a forgiveness routine, like I said, even if you do it maybe once a month when you're setting new intentions, you're releasing the old on a full moon or a new moon when you're growing into a new person, it's a great time to release. Make your list. Like I said, it might have some of the old stuff which shows you that it's still hanging on there and you're in a work in progress because that's what we all are. You might have new stuff. It's your chance to go to confession with the universe. It's your chance to get this stuff off your mind and reprogram yourself for happiness, fulfillment, success, health, prosperity, abundance, whatever it is for you. But you gotta let out with the old and in with the new, okay? And then once you start doing that more often, you're also gonna become more conscious in your everyday life of the actions you're taking, of the thoughts that you're thinking of the people that you're surrounding yourself with. So this way you can actually put yourself in a better position to start shrinking those things that you're forgiving yourself for and having more gratitude than anything in your life. So I super hope that helped tonight. I hope that resonated. I hope it made you feel something. And I do hope you go down the road of, like I said, forgiveness and acceptance and gratitude and just let it go. Use that meditation. Like I said, if you're not a hands-on person, you don't want to make a list, you don't want to do. For you, maybe it's a mental thing. Use that meditation. Like I said, you can do it a minute a day, work your way up to three minutes a day. 11 minutes is amazing. I'm telling you, you do that thing for like 40 days straight. Transformation 101 every single time. 
So it has been my pleasure to talk to you about forgiveness tonight. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, anything coming up as you're trying this, working on this, reach out to me. Let me know. You can drop it in the comments. If you want to be more personal, you can absolutely message me. You can email me. You can find my contact on my website. Um, there's going to be a lot more of this coming forward. Um, I've got a lot of new um, fun classes planned. You've been asking for more meditations. You've been asking for more you know, basics on how to do the deep breathing and really tap into that. So September is going to kick ass. I've got so many fun things planned. But like I said, the rest of this month, we still have half of August to go. Um, I've got yoga classes. I've got um, Lauren Ashley coming in for human design. Um, if you want to chat and meet me and really kind of dig into some of this, if you're looking for a more personalized experience, book your free call with me. It's 30 minutes, no strings attached. I am happy to help. All of those links are in my bio. Okay, I will drop the website in here as well but kind of a quick shortcut, you can go ahead and tap that and then click on the appropriate link for you, okay? So I hope you all had an amazing night. I hope you had a great Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.